Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about SharePoint list views. There is a video on the channel which talk about views but uh, that is little old and Microsoft changed the interface of creating the view. So I thought I will make a separate video where I will explain what is a view and then how we can create view in the modern interface and uh, you know why we required view all these things we will discuss on it and if you are new to the channel then subscribe to the channel so that you will get notification whenever i'll make videos like this now coming back to this what is a view so we in a mic in a microsoft sharepoint list we can store up to 30 million items in that but at a time we will not be able to view all the items and we know that if you try to get more than 5000 items then uh, the SharePoint uh, list view threshold limit will come which will basically appear whenever at a time you want to try uh, to get more than uh, 5000 items from a SharePoint list and to overcome this issue uh, we create views that is one solution that uh, you know out of other solutions are there I have also created a video on that I'll put the link in the video description you can have a look at it now to overcome this issue we will create views uh, and uh, in the modern interface there are different kind of views that we can create so that you don't need to uh, you know uh, get all the items instead let's say based on categories you want to get it based on location you want to get it so or uh, maybe you want to get uh, the items where the status is in progress or where the status is completed and also like you can um, get like uh, what are the items created by me so that only the it will display the items which are uh, created by the logged in user so these kind of things we we uh, can create uh, you know separate separate views for it now um, what we will do is we will go to the system and then i'll I have a SharePoint list and there i'll show you how we can create views uh, by using uh, or from that SharePoint list and if you want to learn SharePoint, then check out uh, our complete course, which is there. I'll put the link in the video description. You can have a look at uh, that. The course is completely a SharePoint development training course. So now let's go to the system and we will do step by step views on a SharePoint list. Let me just first show you a SharePoint site. So you can see here, this is a SharePoint site. And on that, I have a course enrollment list is there where there is full name, course type, start date, uh, course period, end date, uh, fees and then instructor like this. I have added, uh, you know, these columns on this. You can see it here, right? Now on this, uh, we will try to create uh, some of the views on this. Now the best scenario that you can do is, uh, let's say you have a, uh, let's say particularly for this example, I want to create a view where I just want to see the course type is SharePoint or the course is uh, you know power apps like this you can create views so when you have a lot of items then uh, it is ideal that you create views on that suppose i want to see where i am the course admin or i want to see where the course fee is less than or greater than 5500 like this you can uh, create different views on that so you see here now this is the section where we are dealing with and by default you see this is the default view uh, all items view that means you will be able to see all the items on this now if if you click on this and you can see here you will provide a view name for it suppose i want to see only the sharepoint course so i'll just search your sharepoint view let's say right you can see you can create a uh, you know uh, a list view calendar view uh, a gallery board view like this but there are certain things that if you choose a calendar view then you have to uh, select a start date and end date column right so suppose i'll select start date and end date you can see here and then same way if you will create a gallery view then uh, you can just select a gallery view and then if you are creating a board view in this case you have to choose a you know, choice column type uh, where which you can uh, uh, use it uh, on this board view okay so for this particular example i'll create a list view i'll show you the board view as well so you can see here let's say i'll create uh, this list view so in this case if you'll see here now this is my SharePoint view. Now in this case, if you'll see here, I wanted to just see the SharePoint, but you, you can see here it is showing all the items here, right? Now we have not done that settings here or that filter condition, we have not added it. So one thing is you can click here and then you can go to edit view, which will open your classic view. So you click on this and then you can see here, 
this is the classic page will open and here you can change the settings now without doing this just let me show you how we can do over here in this interface now you can see here now I select this filter by option so i select this column and then i will select filter by so once you uh, select filter by you see here there is sharepoint i click on apply now you will see here now you can just only see the sharepoint items and you can see there is a star mark that means we have done some modification into this and we can save it so just click over here and then you say that uh, save view as and then just save it so that means any modification you have done that's the thing that you have done and you want to save it so now suppose i want to add one more value to it and you see here if i'll click on this then uh, if i'll go to the filter by i can just see only that option right so what you can do is you can just click on this now you can see here clear the filter and then click over here and go to filter by again and uh, oops i think we need to save it first so i'll just save as i just save as save this thing now i'll go and then i'll say filter by now i can let's say i want to just select uh, you know power apps power automate and sharepoint you can click on apply now you can see this thing so uh, again you have to save it save as and save it now in this interface only you are able to doing that you don't need to navigate to any page on this and you can have the one button where you can clear entire filter or here from here you can let's say you just don't want to see power ups you can just click on this and that filter will go and if you want to add into this now let's say i just want to add this one let's i'll go to the filter and i'll add uh, let's say 5 8 and 10 like this so now if you'll see here 5 8 and 10 will come uh, in, into this filter now you click over this and then save this so we save this view now in this view we have a lot of filter criteria on that and if you go to the classic page you click here and you say edit current view and when you go there you will see all the filter conditions here okay so you can see here this view has a complex filter which cannot be edited here like this was a new thing which i saw it so if you have uh, you know uh, two three conditions on the there you can see those changes here also right so this is what um, you know uh, the thing that you can with with this interface only you can do these changes and uh, if you want to set this as your default view let's say i'll go here i'll say set current view as the default view so once you do that uh, what will happen now is if you will uh, go to the course enrollment list let me just see if i'll just save it once again ideally it should come now let me go back to the home page and then we'll go to the course enrollment hopefully yeah now you can see here right so i think just we need to save it once again now you see here anytime i'll go and open the you know course enrollment list i will come up to this view same way if you want to delete this view you rename this view you can do this thing so if you'll say rename you can see here rename you cannot see here the delete option because we have set this as a default view if you want to delete it then you'll go to the all items view you make this as the current view let's say i did it and now if i'll go to the list view you can see here the delete view option is coming right so that you can do now coming back to uh, to this one, uh, suppose in this you want to add remove some of the fields. So you click on this and then you see, choose this option. Here you will be able to do this thing. Suppose I don't want this course. Uh, let's say start it. You just save it. So now you can see here that I, that column is not there, right? So that you can do it uh, over here. And same way, if you want to add one more view and which will appear here that means you can do this you can click over here and you can navigate to the views so i'll just create here and this time i'll create a board view uh, so i'll say let's say board view demo i'll just put it board view demo and then i'll say board and here i will choose let's say course type i'll click on create so now you see here now this is a board view and on this uh, the board view is you can uh, drag and this item to other one so i'll say i'll drag it here i can see here this has come to the share point now you see here the course type changed to uh, the share point previously it was power up same way let's say the power ups is here i will drag into sorry power bi was here i'll drag it here you can see here it came now this one i'll drag and put it here 
now you can see this becomes power bi right so this way like these are the fields or the option that we choose when creating the board view so if you want to uh, uh, you know edit the current view you can do that from here one thing you can do is here you see customize card if you click on that then you can also customize this card you can see these options you can check and check those things you, you will be able to do it here and then same way if you'll see uh, you know you you click on this and then set this as your current view renamed it delete so i'll remove fill those things you can do it here so now let me let me go to the all items view and on this suppose uh, you see like a lot of time you want to uh, display the items which are uh, created by me so in this case if you'll see here course admin is the column so if i'll just go here now you see here this is the column click on this and then do filter by so once you do filter by you see the me option is there me option is a, it will take the current blog in user so once you click on apply now you can see only these two items right in this and i want to um, you know i want to set this as a different view not to the all items view so i'll click here i'll say save view as and i'll say let's say course admin view right so that means who are the admin uh, when they will click on that they will be able to see where you know the course admin is the logged in user so i am the logged in user and you can see i'll be able to see these items and look at this now all items view board view all these things are there in near to this command bar and you can do it here there is another thing that you can do is is the group by suppose here on this sharepoint views and i'll click on this and then you see based on the course type i want to do the group by now you see here power automate is there sharepoint is there and then uh, if i want to save this i will click on this and then i'll say save view and save this now anytime i'll open this sharepoint views i will be able to see this filter conditions as well as this will show in the uh in the group by because i selected this group by option if i'll just close it then it will go so like this is another way where you can add group by into this so everything you can do from this interface only you don't need to change anywhere but of course uh you anytime can go like you can go to the list you can go to the list settings uh and if you'll go to the view section you will see there are these views are there you can also till now you can also create view option and you can use the classic approach of creating the views but again in these cases the the this will be very slower process and here you can visualize the data here right uh, so suppose in this all items view i can do these changes i can uh, let's say i will filter this suppose i will say only these things i'll save it and then i will go here i will say i want to only filter the items where uh, you know it is this thing so you see all these things you can do and then you can save it so you can actually see whether your uh, you know expected results is coming or not once your expected results are coming you can just save this view watch and you can give a different name or you can override the current view uh, that you can do right so you know this is quite easy to create views on this and this is very helpful when uh, you should plan it properly so that your users can get the data whichever they want and if you have a high volume data in the sharepoint list then you can avoid the list threshold issue as well right so that those things you can do and i have a couple of links on this where you can see the um, you know have uh, written some of the articles so i'll put that link in the video description you can have a look at those things also and if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our youtube channel because our channel is about sharepoint power platform spfx all these things and you will get notified whenever i'll you know make any video on that so thank you and have a nice day